what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do some shadowing in Arabic, Egyptian Arabic and Persian. Hi, Steve Kaufman here to talk about shadowing, a language learning technique. Uh, remember, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. And if you follow me on a podcast service, uh, please leave a review. So shadowing is a language learning technique that I believe was developed by Professor uh, Argelis. Alexander Argelis, and you can Google for him, shadowing Alexander Argelis or Argelis, and you'll find a number of videos that he's put out on the subject. The gist of it is that as a means of improving your pronunciation and preparing for output, you can, while listening to something, you can try to speak along, like imitate what you hear, copy what you hear. Even if you drop the odd word or the odd syllable, uh, this is a practice in, I guess, focusing in on what you're listening to, imitating the pronunciation. And uh, I have tried it in the past and I found that it was not something that I was able to continue with. I just wasn't motivated to do it. I preferred, you know, the more relaxed approach of either, you know, at, at an early stage in my learning, listening to repetitive material like the mini stories, or as I progressed to things of more interest to me, I would focus in on you know, the content, what I was listening to. And I wasn't really that keen on sort of almost interrupting the flow of listening to whatever I was listening to by trying to uh, say, you know, to imitate what I heard. However, uh, I'm willing to try anything uh, if it's effective for language learning. And I thought to myself, you know, a, I, I thought I will do a video on shadowing and then I said to myself, well, you're kind of negative on shadowing because you haven't done it. So maybe you should perhaps put more effort into trying to use this technique and then see if it's effective. Uh, in other words, be a little more open-minded. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do some shadowing in Arabic, Egyptian Arabic and Persian. Uh, and, but I thought to myself, and of course, uh, if you follow Alexander Argelius, he suggests that we do the shadowing while walking briskly. And there's even a video of him doing this. He's shadowing in Chinese while walking at a brisk pace. Um, I'm not going to do that. Cert certainly for the demonstration, I've got no one who could film me walking at a brisk pace. It's a little more difficult to arrange. And also I thought to myself, if I'm going to record myself, imitating someone, then I think there would be benefit in listening to myself. And I think even Argelius suggests this, that this is a way of noticing where your pronunciation, say, strays from the, uh, the native speaker. So what I want to do is I'm going to record myself uh, and I'm going to be listening to the, uh, the uh, lessons. These are linked lessons, listening to it on my iPad, but in my AirPods while trying to imitate what I hear and uh, but uh, and I'm going to do it in the two languages and then beyond that I'm going to do it a little bit more over the next little period and then see if listening to you know my own voice trying to imitate what I hear if that improves my pronunciation improves my comprehension prepares me for speaking because up until now my main strategy has been a lot of listening and reading and then when ready more and more speaking so that I practice my output while speaking with my tutor. And I work, continue to work on my comprehension because even if I understand my tutor well, I often find, for example, in Farsi or even in Arabic, if I meet someone in a store and they start speaking on a subject that's not familiar to me, um, it's more difficult than when speaking to my tutor because it's kind of, I can't really anticipate what the person is going to say. So I've, tended to want to focus on comprehension, but maybe, you know, shadowing helps on comprehension. I'm going to experiment. So without further ado, let me try to set this up now. Kaza Racham Hamza Ashrin, Yusuf Muratu, Muratu Yusuf Haddaulid. Yusuf Muratu Andhum Waledu Bint, Huma Muthamisin Giddan Ashan Hayakun Andhum Baby Kameh. Iwi Madil Gadid Hayakun Walid. Bes Huma Mish Arifin Hai Samun Gid A Karar Al Khurum Yadu Shwai Afkar. Fi Afkar 
Aksan min af Kartenia. Yusuf umrotu me semu tifel Hamza. Ita menu an tifel yib absud beisme wadi nafsil kisa. Stop. Okay. So that was Egyptian Arabic. I am familiar with these contents, and even Professor Agelius recommends that. He says that's a good thing because you're used to the cadence and you're familiar with the content. Because the objective is to try to imitate what you hear, even if you stumble. Asos tarin, tasir gozor tarin, doreho, tarih, iranin. I'm in the middle of this lesson here, by the way. It's da dore tsosoni, tamadoni, irani. As besior jahot benahoyate shukufoi ronare hudresi. Hokumate ke vasile du demone so soni bar poshod bar do poi din va marcasiat. Something good. Onon dolete tashkil dodat godrat keshwar ro darhod. Mote Marquez card. Varba Hameye Manote Kashwar Nezoratos. Dare Durek Godrate in Selsele Azemat Echtedor Va Heisiat Sio 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 Iron Onjo Oj Yoft Ke Amala Tonye Mote Maden On Rosro Be Dogot Begodrat Yani Iron Ru. Okay, so that was a demonstration. So I'm listening and I'm trying to say what I hear as I'm listening at the same time. So that's shadowing. I maybe don't do it justice, but you can look up uh, Alexander Argelius and find out more about this technique. But what I'm interested in doing, I, I don't know how much the actual shadowing itself helps. Maybe it helps, I don't know. Uh, again, I've only got so much time to spend, so am I going to spend the time doing that or reading or listening to things of interest? I don't know, by the way. I don't need these anymore. Uh, but what I want to experiment with is, I think in particular, if I can do enough of this, that I get um, some audio files. Like, say I do the whole lesson, lesson 20, any of the many stories, that's five minutes. And uh, each one of these episodes of Iranian history is about five, six minutes. And if I do the shadowing for the whole lesson and then I listen to myself, is that sort of going to help me develop my speaking ability or improve my pronunciation? That's what I'm going to experiment with. And maybe in a few weeks I'll do another video and I can report back to you. And I'm also interested, of course, in hearing uh, your own experience with shadowing. So thank you for listening. Bye for now. And I'll leave you a couple of videos on output that I've done in the past. You may find those interesting.